Hey boys and girls, welcome to the Adventures Club. Today we're gonna make on making make be making a um, maraca shaker. Um, have you ever done it before? And if you have, try it with me and see if ours is any different. What we're gonna do today first is grab two plastic spoons. You're gonna get a brown bag with all these things in it. Uh, you're gonna get two plastic spoons, one egg that opens and it has a top, and you'll have some, a pipe cleaner, one of these things right here, a pipe cleaner, and um, the pipe cleaner is gonna already be inside the top part of your egg like this. You see that? It's gonna be inside these little holes that are already there, and when it comes to you, hopefully we'll have it all set just nice, and we're gonna twist it around like this, so that when it comes, you're able to just open it up. It's gonna open up like that. And you're gonna to go to the next thing. What I'm gonna do is make you notice that we have some ribbon, we have some rice. Look, you got rice, you got beans, maybe gabarzo beans, and look at these black beans. So these beans been sitting around for quite a few years at our house, because I like to buy them in a can already made from Aldi's. You ever been to Aldi's? Well, I have. And we have some fancy little buttons. See, now this one already has a certain sound. And you know what's inside of it? Garbanzo beans. Each rice or bean has its own set of sounds. And this one goes like this. Now, actually, when we were investigating, when we were trying to figure out what kind of thing worked best, we put it under the microscope, under the magnifying glass, and we got excited that we were gonna make a maraca. And I would sing for you, but the songs that I sing sometimes are emotional and slow. They don't go along with maracas, but I could try. And this reminds me of a cute little friend named Mickey. Mickey used to come and go swimming when I was younger. So, well, you can't tell that's a Mickey or Mickey's sister right there because the eyes are look like girl eyes. But um, we're gonna get back to this project. We're gonna put it together now. So I'm gonna grab, the first thing I would do when you get this is see if you have two spoons. Now this would be one spoon put it together, now they're two spoons, and they're friends, spoon friends. Now what I want you to notice that if, if you wanna tape the bottom of your spoon together like this, um, and you're gonna put the two spoons together with some of your tape. Now I have, I have this, this kind of tape right here, which is scotch tape. You know, if you had a teacher, they had this at her desk, and I love tape. I love to tape my shoes back together, I tape pictures together. You know, and so what happens, this will still open up like that. So what's, when you get your spoon done, you decide how you wanna fill your egg. This egg right here, if I put rice in it, now be careful, if you get all over your mama's floor, rice everywhere, you might not be happy. And I want you to hear something. If this has rice, it goes like this. It gets me a little bit subtly excited. I feel subtly excited. Was that rice coming out my hole? But now, listen to this sound. If I put some beans and rice, I can make up a song. These ain't red beans and rice, but these are gonna be black beans. Black beans and rice. Oh, beans on the floor, beans in the pot, and beans on the table. Now beans and an A. Snap it closed like this. So it got that. Sounds like a train coming. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now, I like that sound. So what I'm gonna do is keep this all mixed together with beans, rice, and some of my good old tape. But the tape is so this will not get all over your floor again. See, look at that. I use this, you're gonna get some nice, better tape than this in your bag because I'm so excited they ordered some special tape just for the Inventors Club. Not everybody's getting this tape. So once I get it around like that, actually I'm going to use some of this cool blue tape because look at that blue color. Blue is one of my favorite colors. I'm going to tear it off like this or you could use scissors because some people like the straight edge cut like this. Snap. We're going to put it around like that. 
coming around, coming around, coming around, coming around here. And then guess what? We're gonna put it inside the spoon. Now, someone says it can go this way, but I like to put it this way because the small, the small part of the spoon, when I say this way, you have a narrow end and a fatter end and it's locked. Oh, it creates a certain mood. Makes me feel like I can do some Spanish dancing. Now look at that. It's inside the spoon. The spoon fits together. Cool thing was I taped the spoons first. Now, what I can do is tape around the spoon and the maraca, shaking sound. I'm gonna put some more tape and hopefully you have nice tape like I do. I'm so full with my full blue tape. And it's really working. So what I wanna do now is add some more tape the other way. I can take some more tape and make a design. Oh, the bag's trying to come to my tape. I'm gonna go around and round and round and round and round and round. And then I'm gonna squeeze my tape down so it's not sticking anywhere. And then I think I'm gonna put some tape. You know, I kinda of like that blue sitting up top. And it seems pretty secure. I'm gonna put my buttons on here. I like this classy pink. I'm gonna put a button on here like this. Twist the button so it doesn't come off. So when I shake it to the east and shake it to the west, shake it to the friends that I have best, it won't fall apart on me. See, I like that purple. I think I'm gonna go with a red, a round red button. So you have some buttons in there. You have some shaker noise makers. And you also will have maybe some ribbon some ribbon in your bag. It's kind of like an alien shaker right there. So, do I see rice coming out the bottom? Maybe I do. So what I'm gonna do, if I see something that's not the way I want it, I got more tape. I'm gonna put more tape under here, more tape under here. tape under here and more tape right here and um, so we have somebody talking about rain outside but um, we'll be just fine you know rain comes it makes everybody excited it makes me excited too because since we're studying nature you know our grass needs water our flowers need water our shakers don't need water but they need some tape. Now this right here, I think she's, I think she's beautiful. I'm gonna add a little bit of this, this ribbon. I'm gonna cut some and have some wire inside of it. Like this. And my shaker is gonna have a little African wrap on there. Cause this is, this is, this is, a, this is not a memory shaker, but it's a family shaker. I want to, see it has a little wire in this ribbon and you can just put it on there like a nice bow. And there you have it, your shaker, all done. See you next time.